Yo, so what is good everybody on YouTube? We are back today with a brand new video and for today's video, of course you saw the title. It's going to be a James Wiseman career simulation with the Golden State Warriors obviously giving them that big man that they've always needed on that team that can go along with Steph, Clay, and Draymond and potentially make them the best team of all time even above the 73 and 9 team as you can see number one overall there anthony edwards does get drafted by the t wolves and of course we're gonna take wiseman here and if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to smack that like button for your boy and if you are new definitely hit that subscribe it helps a ton so james wiseman from memphis going number two overall here we're gonna sim to the end you can kind of see how the top five round out the uh, lamello ball ends up going to the jazz which is definitely an interesting fit alongside Donovan Mitchell and our Warriors squad looks a lot like what it does in real life right here a starting off at 79 overall James Wiseman so let's see how this one ends up going hopefully it is a very very fun sim so let's get to the end of year one let's go Giannis Antetokounmpo ends up getting regular season MVP in year one, and LaMelo Ball actually beats us out for Rookie of the Year. He also got Sixth Man of the Year, which is also interesting. Uh, all rookie first team, of course we do get those props, and we get ourselves into the five seed, which is not bad, considering just how bad the Warriors record was, of course, this year. But obviously, injuries did play a huge part of that. Um, so in year one, 16.7 points per game and 8.8 .8 rebounds per game is not bad at all for the 81 overall Wiseman and uh, almost two blocks per game. So definitely getting it done defensively as well. First round matchup here, a Golden State Warriors are going to find themselves up against the Los Angeles Lakers. Of course, with LeBron and AD, not an easy first round matchup. We take it to seven though. So let's see just how this one plays out. Of course, we're going to hop into SimCast. So let's get after it. And uh, it's very back and forth, surprisingly to me. And we end up taking it by two points, 128 to 126 with about one second left on the clock. We did clutch up. Huge game there from Wiseman dropping 27 in the W. Second round up against Luka and the Mavericks. They're not making it an easy road for us here at all. So we're going to have to literally beat the top competition early on in this sim if we want a run. So obviously, you know what the Mavericks are looking like. But they, we couldn't get it done. We lose 4-1. to one. Steph having a huge game. 21-7 and seven there from Wiseman as well. Uh, we're going to be watching the finals from the sidelines. So you got a healthy KD and Nets uh, versus Lo Luka and the Mavericks. So let's see just how this one plays out. Should be an interesting series. I would love to see it in real life. And in 6, the Brooklyn Nets end up taking it. And I'm assuming KD ends up getting himself a finals MVP. And he does. Moving us into year 2. The year is now 2021. And James Wiseman is now up to an 83 overall already. And our team is very much the same as last year, as you can see going into the rotations. But one thing to mention here is that Draymond has hit a very good amount of regression already. Already only the ninth player off the bench. 77 overall, definitely starting to come down. In year two here, Giannis gets MVP. LaMelo Ball actually gets most improved player of the year. And Cade Cunningham gets rookie of the year. We help lead the Warriors to the number five seed in the Western Conference. And to look at these player stats, James Wiseman, a fantastic season, averaging a double-double in only his second year with 19.4 points per game, 10 rebounds per game, and 1.8 blocks per game. Can't really complain about that whatsoever. And it looks like throughout the season, we actually brought back Nikola Mirotic into the NBA and signed him as our power forward. Definitely not something I was expecting to see, but it is what it is. Uh, first round up against the Clippers, who we actually end up annihilating, despite them having PG and Kawhi. You would expect that to be a very close series, in all honesty, but we just absolutely destroyed them 4-0. Moving us into the second round here, up against a Grizzlies team that did add Steven Adams. But somehow, this team ends up taking us in five, which I'm definitely surprised about considering what happened last round. John Morant dropping 40 points to get it done for the Grizzlies there. Kind of putting the squad on his back. Watching the finals from the sidelines yet again. The Atlanta Hawks and Trey Young up against this Grizzlies team, of course, with John Morant. Uh, let's see how this one plays out. I definitely think I'd give the edge maybe to the Grizzlies. So let's see how this one goes. Back and forth series here. And surprisingly... Trey Young ends up taking it 4-2, getting himself finals MVP as well. Moving us into year three, 
James Wiseman already up to an 88 overall here, which is just insane how fast he is progressing already. Uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo gets yet another MVP season. That is three back-to-back -back seasons. And we are yet again the number one seed in the Western Conference. Great to see the Warriors great again. 24.2 points per game and 11 rebounds per game. They go along with two blocks per game. First round matchup here up against a Suns team. That did add Evan Mobley and RJ Hampton via the draft. Two obviously extremely solid pieces, but they still get swept by us 4-2-0. Wasn't enough. With James Wiseman having an absolutely dominant game there, dropping 25 and 11 to lead the team in scoring. Now we will be moving on to the second round here up against the Grizzlies who did knock us out last year. And unfortunately, it does not go our way yet again with Jaron Jackson Jr. dropping 44 piece right there to knock us out. It is what it is, so we will be watching the finals from the sidelines yet again, where the T-Wolves with Anthony Edwards are up against the Atlanta Hawks, led by Trey Young, of course. And it's looking like the T-Wolves are going to take this. They were up 3-1, to one, but they just lost some games. They end up taking it in 7, though, so they do get the job done, with Cat getting himself a finals MVP. Moving us into year 4. And in year 4, Wiseman is now up to a 91 overall, being the second highest on the team. And let's see who gets MVP. Four back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back seasons, Giannis gets MVP. And Rookie of the Year went to Imani Bates. You can kind of see what is going on here. James Wiseman makes his All-NBA team appearance for the first time and an All-Defensive team appearance as well. Ending in the number one seed in the Western Conference with 60 wins and only 22 losses. What a season there. 26.4 points per game and 13.2 uh, rebounds per game to go along with 2.8 blocks per game for Wiseman. This kid just went absolutely berserk this year. And uh, hopefully it translates to the playoffs here where we're up against the Pelicans with Mo Bamba. And thankfully we do ultimately get the job done here taking the series in six. Moving us on to a second round matchup that is definitely tough up against Luka and the Mavs. And uh, we actually do get it done this time. Winning the series in seven Definitely showing the huge progression on this team. Now up against the Jazz, led by LaMelo Ball and Donovan Mitchell. And we get this one done too, winning it in five here. A huge game there from, from uh, James Wiseman, putting up 25 points and 18 rebounds. Moving us on to the Bucks in the finals here, who are definitely the toughest matchup up to date. The MVP, Giannis, and Jalen Green on the same team. And it showed as we end up taking the L 4-2-0 here, man. Giannis gets MVP and Finals MVP there in year four. Moving us into year five, where Wiseman is now all the way up to a 93 overall, starting to develop some of his Hall of Fame badges. And uh, I'm definitely excited to see how this kid's career keeps going. So this is now five years straight that Giannis just got MVP of the regular season, which is crazy. Um, LeBron James Jr. as well, getting Rookie of the Year finally in the league. We get the number two seed in the Western Conference. Wiseman leads the team in scoring while also getting it done on the boards and definitely on the defensive end of the floor. Um, Warriors in the first round. We're going to be up against the Pelicans here. Yet again, this Pelicans team is pretty good. We did lose uh, to them previously. We beat them last year, and they're going to take us to seven this year. So let's just see how this one plays out. Of course, we will hop into Simcast. This team is no joke, though, as we end up actually dropping it against the 146 to 137. So we take the L by nine points. Great games there from Curry and Wiseman, but we just could not get it done. It is what it is. T-Wolves up against the Hawks here. T-Wolves end up sweeping the Hawks with Anthony Edwards, of course, fellow draft class member, getting himself his first finals MVP there, moving us into year six here. And in year six, Wiseman is finally the highest overall on the team in general now at a 93 overall. Uh, definitely locked up for about another four years on the squad. And we also now have two Wiggins on this team. We have a two guard that is Aaron Wiggins here at an 84 overall. And of course, Andrew Wiggins at the small forward position. And Draymond still regressing really bad at a 72. In other news, Giannis gets his sixth back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back MVP, which is insane. We end the season with 50 wins and 32 losses. Definitely really, really good. And of course, our stats are pretty much where we want them to be. First round matchup here up against a very tough matchup in Anthony Edwards and the T-Wolves, who are going to take it to seven with us, so let's see how it turns out. But unfortunately, here in Game 7, it is very back and forth. And the T-Wolves end up taking the lead here in the mid part of the fourth. And we end up taking the L, man. James Wiseman doing everything he could in that. Absolutely destroying the blocks, getting five there. 
but it still was not enough. A Grizzlies versus Bucks finals here. And uh, this could honestly be either like team's game, but I would definitely give the edge to the Bucks, considering they have Jalen Green, Chris Middleton, and Giannis all on the same team. Not to mention RJ Barrett coming off the bench as their sixth man. So they definitely have a more deep team than what they usually have in these playoffs. And you see they go up 2-0, 3-0, and 4-0, a clean sweep. Giannis gets another Finals MVP. And early on in the sim, it's been a story of Giannis Antetokounmpo clearly dominating, moving us into year 7. Wiseman now at a 94 overall here. And uh, our second highest overall is an 88 overall Andrew Wiggins, surprisingly, as Curry is also starting to hit his regression wall. Uh, you don't love to see it. And that is... Eight years straight of Giannis getting MVP, man. That's just insane. Western Conference here, 51 wins tied with the Suns and T-Wolves. But we come in as the third seed. Looking at the stats, obviously a great season. You can't complain about that production at all. And in the first round here, we're going to be meeting up against an interesting Trailblazers team that actually has Dame off the bench as their sixth man, just kind of showing just how deep the team is. So let's see if we can pull it out here. And thankfully, in the later part of the fourth, we do, winning by two, getting 37 points and 11 rebounds there. James Wiseman absolutely popping off, man. Although in the second round, we weren't as lucky. We lose to Devin Booker, putting up 39 points in that L for us, man. They destroyed us 153 to 103 in that final one. Watching the finals from the sidelines yet again. Pacers versus the Grizzlies here in 2027. Grizzlies get up 3 to 0 and end up cleanly sweeping them 4 to 0. Cade Cunningham, who's apparently on the Grizzlies, actually getting finals MVP. Cade and Jao would be a deadly duo. Moving us into year 8, and now 85 overall, James Wiseman. Trying to lead the team as some of his better players are starting to hit that regression. You see Curry now at only an 84 overall. And I'm pretty sure Draymond's off the team. And I'm pretty sure Clay has also retired. Uh, wow, another MVP season for Giannis now. We can officially make that 8 since I said that mistakenly earlier. That is number 8 right there. James Wiseman getting Defensive Player of the Year. You love to see that for sure. 2.4 blocks per game. And uh, somehow we only get the 7th seed in the West. Uh, that's kind of crazy because James Wiseman put up 29.5 points per game, 14.8 boards per game, and uh, 2.4 blocks per game. To only get the seven seed, that's kind of crazy. First round matchup here up against a deep Suns team. And we get swept despite a 35-15 and 15 game here for Wiseman, man. GG. Suns in the finals here up against the Cleveland Cavaliers who have uh, Colin Sexton, Isaac Okora, and Mitchell Robinson. Let's see how this one plays out. I do think the Suns team is a little bit better, but let's see how it plays out. Suns up 3-2. to two. It's going to 7, and in 7, the Suns do end up taking it. Moving us into year 9 of the Sim, man. Hopefully, we can get some better playoff luck, and I don't even know, man. So, we're looking, and wow, Imani Bates is now on the squad. Kind of interested to see how he ended up here. So, looking at the Warriors... Andrew Wiggins, Jeffrey Flowers, and a first-round pick was all it took to grab him, apparently. Uh, Cade Cunningham ends up getting finals MVP here. And uh, to check the standings, a great year, 60-22, and 22, actually tied with his Spurs squad as well in the West. Uh, so maybe with the, uh, having Amani Bates now, our playoff luck will change a little. Amani Bates, obviously an incredible scorer, 32.1 points per game. Wiseman doing his thing, 28.2 and, of course, over 12 rebounds per game as well. First-round matchup's going to be up against that Trailblazer squad that did give us a little bit of trouble in years previous. They take it to 7 with us yet again. Thankfully, we do knock them out, though. Uh, getting it done. Moving us on to the second round here, up against a Suns team that also has been giving us some trouble. So let's see if Amani Bates will be enough to help us out here and get us out of this. Uh, definitely going to be an interesting series. We are just going back and forth with them here. And we find ourselves down by one in the series, 3-2. to two. And uh, unfortunately, we get knocked out again, 4-2 to two here in six. Looking at the box score, uh, no one did anything too incredible on their side of the ball, but we just couldn't get it done. Spurs versus the Cavs here in the finals. You see the squads. It's definitely interesting. But uh, I might give the upper hand to the Cavs this time, actually. So let's see how this one goes. And maybe I gave the upper hand to the wrong team as the Spurs start off 3-2-0. And uh, despite a little comeback, the Spurs do end up taking it in 7, moving us on to year 10. And in year 10, let's see what the squad is looking like. Amani Bates, James Wiseman, and we actually have Killian Hayes as well, who's kind of a pretty good role player to have added. You know, 89 overall point guard there. 
Jordan Poole playing the two. Of course, Amani Bates, many-time All-Star already. And same with Wiseman. So let's see if we can get it done here. Aluka finally breaking the streak. He gets MVP. James Wiseman gets Defensive Player of the Year. And we finished the number three seed in the Western Conference behind only the Spurs and the Suns. Looking at the player stats, obviously incredible season, seasons from our stars here, as you can imagine. And in the first round here, we're going to be meeting up against the tri uh, the Pelicans, actually, with Chet and Zion. So definitely not an easy matchup in the first round. We end up proving ourselves getting a huge game there, taking it in five. Moving on to a second round matchup against the Suns that have given us, obviously, tons of trouble, as you've seen. We're going to game seven with them, and hopefully we can pull it out in game seven here. Uh, but unfortunately, man, we just cannot get it done in these playoffs. D-Book dropping 25, we just, we just don't do it. James Wiseman, 12 and 11. Not enough to carry us to a dub. Cavs versus the Trailblazers here in the finals. Uh, let's see who ends up taking it. Obviously, both interesting teams here. 2-0, 3-0. It's looking like the Cavs are going to cleanly sweep, and they are. Colin Sexton getting a finals MVP award. Moving us into year 11 here. The year is now 20-30. And let's see if this team is still looking pretty much the same. It is. 97 now overall, James Wiseman. Seven-time All-Star. Three-time Defensive Player of the Year. Definitely getting it done, but the playoff accolades are not there for us, man. Cade Cunningham getting an MVP season. Defensive Player of the Year goes to Wiseman. Most Improved Player of the Year actually goes to uh, Chet. We finish as the number one seed in the Western Conference yet again. 62 wins and 20 losses. Let's look at these player stats real quick. 29.7 points per game for Amani Bates. And Wiseman getting it done with a double-double on the season. Uh, and just about two blocks per game as well. Cannot complain about that whatsoever. First round matchup up against the Tr Timberwolves with Anthony Edwards. Of course, a fellow member of our draft. But we do edge them out, thankfully, in six. Uh, so we're going to be moving on to the second round here up against that Suns team that we just so dread playing against, man. This team has just been one of the storylines of the Sim that just keep knocking us out over and over again. So let's see if it changes this time. We find ourselves in a Game 7 situation. And yet again, it feels like a repeating story here. We get knocked out in Game 7 by them. A very tough scene. Devin Booker dropping 48 points to get it done for them. So let's watch from the sidelines yet again and see how it goes. Philadelphia 76ers here with Ben Simmons still uh, up against this Phoenix Suns squad in the finals. And uh, be an interesting one to watch. So the Sixers find themselves up 3-1. to one. But the Suns, of course, have a lot of fight, and the Sixers end up clutching up right there. Ben Simmons getting himself a Finals MVP. Moving us into year 12 here. Not much has changed, of course. We did add Shakir O'Neal, it looks like. Obviously, the son of Shaq uh, to play at two-guard position. So let's see how much that actually helps us out. Amani Bates gets an MVP season here. And uh, alongside that, James Wiseman still getting Defensive Player of the Year. So two huge awards for our squad here as we rack up 64 wins on the season. Obviously, fantastic season from the both of them. Absolutely incredible. Moving us on to the first round of the playoffs here, where we're going to be finding ourselves up against LaMelo Ball, Wendell Carter Jr., and the Utah Jazz, who were an easy out, surprisingly to me. We end up beating them 4-2-0 in a clean sweep. Moving on to the second round up against the San Antonio Spurs squad. And another 4-2-0 sweep here. Western Conference Finals up against Mikey Williams and the Kings. And they do actually route us, man. Tragic. We end up losing in five to them. They move on to the finals here up against LeBron James Jr. and uh, De'Aaron Fox. Let's see how this one plays out. Who will end up getting a Mikey Williams or a Bronny? And it's a very back and forth one here. Going to game seven and blowing a three to one lead. Bronny did. That's crazy. Moving us into year 13 here. Team very much the same. We're going to try to run it back. MVP season here for Bronny after blowing a three to one lead in the finals. James Wiseman getting defensive player of the year. Number two seed in the Western Conference. We got a first round matchup here up against the New Orleans Pelicans with Zion Williamson and Brandon Ingram and uh, of course a very solid squad. They take it to seven with us here and in game seven let's hop into SimCast and see just how this one plays out. So let's get into it. As you can see a pretty competitive game but we are starting to pull away a little bit 117 to 114. A little back and forth but it is looking like we're going to get it done. 
up 124 to 119. We get it done by about six points, 32 points and 21 rebounds there for Wiseman, absolutely controlling the glass, helping us move on. Second round matchup here up against the Jazz, another tough one, man. We're going to game seven with them as well. Of course, we're going to hop into SimCast and see if we can pull this one out like we just did in the round previous. But the luck was not there. We end up getting bounced. Uh, Wiseman putting up 12 and 17, just not enough. Watching the finals from the sidelines yet again, the Cleveland Cavaliers here up against the Sacramento Kings and Mikey Williams. So let's see how this one goes. Cavs up to an early lead, 3-1 to one on them. And the Cavs end up taking it in 6 right there, helping us move into year 14 of the Sim. A pretty tragic career for Wiseman so far, putting up fantastic numbers, but just not getting it done in the playoffs. Mikey Williams getting an MVP. Third overall seed in the Western Conference. Monty Bates putting up 29.7 points per game. And Wiseman, wow, 23.2 points per game and 15 boards per game. Getting it done like crazy on the glass. First round matchup here up against the Phoenix Suns yet again. Let's see if this one goes better than normal. And it does. We win the series 4-2-0 over them. Moving into the second round here, we're going to have a matchup up against the Utah Jazz yet again with LaMelo Ball, who did give us a little trouble last year, knocking us out in seven. So let's see how this one plays out this time. We do end up taking a 42-point performance and a 34-point performance with 23 boards for Wiseman, getting it done in six for us. Moving on to the Western Conference Finals, up against a very tough Kings team with Mikey Williams, who end up 4-0 sweeping us, man. That's a tough scene. Sacramento Kings here in the finals up against the Toronto Raptors and uh, LeBron James Jr. We saw this before and Bronny blew a 3-1 lead last time, but the Kings end up taking it with ease this time in five. Mikey Williams getting finals MVP, getting it done to move us into year 15 of the Sim and 99 overall Amani Bates here. Only, uh, only one year left on his contract guaranteed. Wiseman only one year left on his contract guaranteed. So let's see if they stay or leave. LaMelo Ball getting a regular season MVP here with the Jazz. Uh, we finished the number two seed behind only the Jazz. And uh, of course, not to reiterate the same thing, just fantastic stat line for these guys this season. In the first round, we have ourselves a matchup up against the Trailblazers. Of course, a very good team. And yet again, our playoff luck is running dry. We get knocked out in five. Going to be watching the Raptors versus the Jazz here in the finals real quick. And uh, it's just a tough scene for Wiseman, what he has to go through. And obviously, Imani Bates as well. Uh, finals here, Raptors and Jazz, of course. Let's see how this one plays out so we can hopefully get into another year and maybe get this man Wiseman a championship because it's really starting to annoy me how he hasn't gotten one yet. 4-2 to two here, Raptors end up taking it, of course. Of course, um, I think that LeBron James Jr. does get it. Yes, sir, he does. Moving us into year 16. Starting to hit a little bit of regression for James Wiseman here, unfortunately, now at a 95 overall. Elijah Fisher gets regular season MVP here, putting up 32.2 points per game with the Trailblazers that knocked us out last year. We finished the number two seed in the Western Conference. Unfortunately, it seems like we're turning into a regular season team, though, that cannot get it done in the playoffs which you absolutely hate to see. And to prove that correct yet again, we get bounced in the first round here by the Suns in seven. Going to be watching, of course, the finals from the sidelines. Charlotte Hornets here in the finals up against the Trailblazers. I mean, the Timberwolves with Anthony Edwards. And let's see if Anthony Edwards can get himself his second championship of the Sim. And he does go ahead and do so. And he does end up finals MVP as well. Moving us into year 17. Wiseman starting to get up there in age. Put up great numbers so far, but just could not get any real actual chips. Uh, Bronny getting an MVP season. We finished the number two seed in the Western Conference yet again. Huge season there from obviously both Amani Bates and James Wiseman, as you can imagine. First round matchup here up against a uh, Mav squad that is a shell of their former self. They take it to seven with us, which is super concerning. We'll hop into SimCast and see how it goes, of course. And it's looking like we built ourselves a pretty good lead here, a pretty substantial one that will allow us to win the game by 20. So you love to see it moving us into the second round. Huge game there from Wiseman kind of carrying the squad. Second round here up against an LA Lakers team that has Darius Garland and a lot of people that I did not expect them to have, honestly. So let's see how this one goes. We're going to seven with them. 
and we hop into SimCast, of course. And uh, I thought the Lakers would win this one, but very back and forth, we end up taking it by two. Amani Bates having a huge game there, moving us into the Western Conference Finals. Up against Mikey Williams and the Kings, who have knocked us out several times already in this sim. So let's see how this one goes. We find ourselves up two games to zero, three games to zero, and we cleanly sweep this team to my surprise, four to zero. Huge game there from Shakira O'Neal, dropping 31 points. Moving us to the finals, up against Cade Cunningham and the Detroit Pistons. Can we get it done for the first time in this sim and bring a championship to Golden State? It's looking good as we uh, get up three to one on them. We hop into SimCast, of course, and it's looking like they're going to take this one, making it a 3-2-2 series. You hate to see it. Can we please just end it here and not have to go to a Game 7, man? Because we don't like having to go to 7s, and it's not looking great. I really hope we don't blow this 3-2-1 lead here, man. It would be super tragic. We hop into Game 7 here with a 1-point lead over Detroit with about 58 seconds left on the clock. Let's see how this one goes. It's definitely spooky. Imani Bates goes in for a drive. And he greens up a little floater. 127 to 124 here, giving us a three point lead with 40 seconds left on the clock. A snatch block by James Wiseman, clutching up. 30 seconds left on the clock. We do indeed have the ball. Let's see how we play this one out. Amani Bates swings it over. A contest, little contested three, and boom, that is SmackDown, putting us up by six with 26.7 points per game. Ah, seconds left. Amani Bates. Huge game, putting up 49 points in this one. Jordan player of the game. Let's see what ends up happening. They obviously do have a chance to still be in this if they hit a three. Cade Cunningham handling the ball up at the top of the key, driving in. And he gets fouled. He gets fouled. No and one on the play, though, so that is good. Uh, he hits both, of course, making it a four-point game. 132, 126 with that. 18 seconds left. They foul. We hit both of our free throws, of course, because we really do this. Uh, they miss a shot. We obviously get fouled again. We are now up 134 to 126. They throw up a prayer, and we do it. We finally get James Wiseman, an NBA championship here. A lot later in a sim than I was technically hoping for, but it is what it is. Interested to see who ends up getting finals MVP. I'd assume it would be Amani Bates with just how berserk he went here for us. Uh, looking at the box score here, and you can see Amani Bates absolutely killed it, dropping 51 points. Wiseman putting up 14 and 13 with six blocks. That was probably the key part of it, honestly. There was six blocks and that crunch time block. Uh, Amani Bates, of course, gets finals MVP. Moving us into year 18, thankfully we finally got the boys a chip. And James Wiseman, now at a 90 overall, can finally add an NBA championship to his resume. So we'll see how this year goes. Maybe we could go back to back. Who honestly knows? Last year might have just been luck, but we will take it. So let's see what happens. Uh, league standings. We finished the number one seed with 59 wins on the season. Huge, huge for that. 27.9 points per game on the season. Amani Bates going crazy. Obviously, James Wiseman putting up a little bit lesser numbers now that he is getting older and he's an 89 overall. Our first round matchup is going to be up against the Denver Nuggets. And in this one, we end up taking them in five. Huge game there for Amani Bates, just going berserk. Second round here, we're going to be up against a Rocket squad. That is definitely no joke, so let's see how this one turns out. And uh, we end up taking them as well in five, four, two, a one. We love to see it. Moving into the Western Conference Finals up against an older Ja Morant, who takes us to game seven here. And in game seven, of course, we're going to hop into SimCast and see just how this one plays out, of course. So let's see. We end up taking it 128 to 106, clutching up there, and we're getting it done. Moving up into the finals here, up against the Washington Wizards, and let's see if this one plays out like last year. We're up 3 to 0, and we hop into Simcast with 117, 105, with only about 16 seconds left in this game. The Wizards don't really know what to do. They're trying to get a bucket of some sort. We do foul them, unfortunately. So they should get these two at the line real quick. But this was a very, very interesting series here. And uh, after the free throw here, we're up 117 to 106 with 10.4 left on the clock. Obviously, we're just going to dribble it out. No real chance for them to win the game at that point. So we get back-to-back -back NBA championships here for James Wiseman late in his career. Thankfully, 
Thankfully, we end up clutching up for him, so he did not go championship list in his career here, man. Uh, you obviously want to look into these box scores and see just how it went. Uh, James Wiseman putting up 20 and 13, and uh, we just we just did a little bit more than them. So Monty Bates gets himself the uh, Finals MVP, and to my surprise, after that, with only 18 years in the league, Wiseman ends up retiring with Lucas Zion and Cat all in the same season. Looking at the jersey retirements here. We do end up getting our jersey retired by the Golden State Warriors, of course. Being with them for so long and sticking with them and being a true um, GOAT for their team just did do it all. Looking at the um, where he finished all time, I'm just going to let this run out like always, boys. But if you made it this far throughout the video, uh, you can see them all. But if you made it this far throughout the video, comment GOAT, G-O-A-T in all capitals. So I know you're a true Bean Squad supporter, baby. Uh, more videos to come. Definitely interested to see what you guys want next, so let me know down in the comments. Hope you guys have a fantastic day, boys. Bless up. Goodbye.